hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we are going to create an animation using css on this web page you can see i have added a text and in front of this text there is an square which is rotating when this square is rotating you can see two sides of this square is just behind the text and two other sides of this text is above this text so we will learn how to create this animation using html and css so let's start this video here in this folder, I have one index.html file and another file called style.css. Let me open these files with my code editor, which is Visual Studio Code. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures and this one is the CSS file. In this HTML file, I have added this link tag that will connect HTML and CSS file. Now we will add code in the body tag. So here we will create one div with the class name container. Next we will add the CSS for this container. So write this class name in the CSS file. Here we will add some CSS properties. Here we will add the background. And let's add the display flex, align items center and justify content center so that all the contents inside this container will be in the center of the web page. After adding this, let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this dark color on the complete web page. Let me close this browser and I will open this browser with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the website automatically whenever we will add any changes. So you can see the same web page. Now let's come back and we have to add one title in this div. So here we will add a title in H1. After adding this, you can see this title in the center of this web page. Next, we have to increase the font size and change the color for this text. So let's come back and here in this CSS file, we will add h1 font size. Then we will add the color. After that, letter spacing. then font weight and position will be relative after adding this you can see increased font size and white color for this text now let's come back and here we have to add h1 then write before and we will also add h1 after after adding this here we will add content it will be empty and uh, let's add some padding then we will add position position will be absolute and uh, left it will be zero and top it will be 50 percent Then we will add display display will be block and let's add transform transform translate x minus 50 percent translate y minus 50 percent and rotate rotate will be zero After adding this, here we will add border 15 pixel solid and we will add any color code here. After adding this border, let's refresh the website again and you can see a square over here. So let me come back and here we will remove this border from here and let's add h1 before and in this before we will add two border for border top and border left so we will add border top 
15 pixel solid and this color you can see only one color at the top let's come back and duplicate this one and it will be left so you can see this line in top and left side now let's come back and here we will add h1 after so in this after we will add this one and just change border bottom and border right so here we have added top left and this one bottom and right now you can see that border on all the four sides you can see a square here next we have to rotate this square using css animation so let's come back and here in this h1 we will add animation write any name i will write a spin it will be for six seconds alternate infinite is in out like this next we have to add the keyframes for this spin so here we will add at the rate keyframes spin 100% and at 100% it should rotate the square by 360 degree so we will copy this one and paste it here here we have rotate 0 so we will make it 360 degree that's it after adding this again refresh the website and you can see this square is rotating but right now you can see all four sides of this square is above the text so we have to move two sides of this square behind the text so let's come back and here in this one h1 after we will add z index minus one like this and uh, at here in this h1 we will add z index one that's it after adding this you can see two sides of this square is behind the text so finally we have created this beautiful animation using css i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video